In this quick tutorial, I'll show you how to create the dispersion effect in Photoshop. Let's get started. First, make two copies of the background layer by pressing Ctrl and J twice. Hide both copies by clicking the eye icon, select the background layer, pick the lasso tool, and make a rough selection around the subject. Right-click and choose Fill. Set it to Content Aware and check Color Adaptation. Click OK. Press Ctrl and D to deselect. Unhide the first copy layer. Go to Filter, Liquify. Select the Forward Warp tool. Stretch the edges of the subject as shown. Click OK to apply. Add an inverted layer mask to this layer by holding Alt and clicking the Layer Mask button. Unhide and select the second copy layer. Go to Select, choose Subject, and then click the Layer Mask button. Select the Brush tool and choose a dispersion brush from the brush panel. Download link for the dispersion brush set is given in the description. With the second copy's layer mask selected and black as the foreground color, brush along the subject's edges to create the cracking effect. Use the bracket keys to adjust brush size. Switch and rotate brushes for a better look. Next, select the inverted mask on the first copy layer. Set the foreground color to white and brush along the subject's edges to add scattered particles. Again, keep changing the brush size, type, and rotation while brushing to make it look more realistic. Now add a gradient adjustment layer. Pick a gradient from the oranges section. Move the gradient layer to the top. Set its blending mode to soft light and opacity to about 20%. Add a color lookup adjustment layer. Choose crisp warm 3D LUT. Set blending mode to soft light and opacity to around 30%. That's it. You've created the dispersion effect. If this tutorial helped, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.